were really pleased with the result in the first half of the year. So first of all, we grew the turnover by £120 million or 5%. Uh, that was driven by us taking more share in new cars again. Uh, we grew once again our used car and after sales business, having seen strong growth in previous years. So that drove the turnover. That led us to a profit of just over £43 million, which is exactly in line with our expectations. The business also continues to be extremely cash generative, so we managed to bring the debt down from just under £100 million at the beginning of the year to just over £56 million at the half year. So our balance sheet's in great shape, and all of that gave us the confidence to continue with our progressive dividend policy and increase it by 5%. The main challenges the industry faces are consumer confidence, fundamentally. Uh, more specifically, there are clearly there are some concerns about where Brexit's going and that remains to be, to be seen at this stage. So the challenges are really on the macro. However, despite that, the industry has proven itself to be extremely resilient. So from a new car perspective, we're heading for what will definitely be one of the biggest markets on record. Uh, we are confident that within that market we will continue to take share in new cars. And of course, over 60% of our profits don't rely on new cars, they come from used cars and after sales. And we've already shown in the first half of the year that we can continue to grow in that area. So as a business, we're pretty confident we can navigate these challenges. Five. 2018 is going to have a very different shape in terms of the profit split uh, compared to 2017. Uh, 2017 was sort of front end loaded and it was an unusually strong first half of the year followed by an unusually weak second half of the year. And that weakness was driven by the sudden and unexpected decline in demand for diesel cars. Now that situation has now stabilised and we expect that profit split to return to more normal historical levels. So we expect to see our profits grow in the second half of the year, such that in the full year we're in line with market expectations. The beauty of having a strong balance sheet is it gives you flexibility and options. When I think about growing the business, I think about it in two ways. So I think about growing it organically, I think about it growing it by acquisition. So starting with the organic growth story, the first port of call is reflecting the changing behaviour of our customers. We want a seamless omni-channel experience. So we're investing more in the physical estate and world-class facilities for them, but equally investing in the online journey and making sure the whole thing knits together. The second area we're focusing on in terms of the organic growth story is in used cars. And used cars remains our biggest organic growth opportunity. And whilst we've done extremely well in the last few years in growing used cars, we want to really accelerate that and we've now got clear plans to do that. So that's the organic story. Thinking about acquisitions, we've got a really clear view of which brands we want to represent in which locations. We've got a fantastic balance sheet to be able to make those acquisitions. We've got a good reputation in the industry to attract those acquisitions and we've got a brilliant track record of making those acquisitions earnings enhancing. So it's about both and it gives us a lot of confidence for the future.